Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got one more really cute, more than autumn project. This is uh, my favorite bundle from our new September to December 2024 mini catalog. Um, I have several other projects featuring this bundle. If you're looking for ideas, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog and check it out. This one actually is part of a Facebook Friday project series and there's a free PDF with measurements and supply list. Okay, so we are going to make this gift box. Guess what's inside? Something I found at Walmart that I've never seen before. Snickers pumpkins, which I have seen before, but it's a two pack. It says a share size. So there's two pieces in there, so it's a little bit longer. So I've made the box to fit, fit our yummy little Snicker pumpkin. All right, grab your Simply Scored or your Stammin' Trimmer and cut a piece of cardstock. This is pumpkin pie that is 10 by seven and a half. Uh, let's start on the short side. We're gonna do two and a half, three and a half, six and seven. Then turn it to the long side and score it at one and nine. All right, grab your bone folder. You wanna make this nice and crisp. Make your lines really uh, folded and scored well. That will help your box go together really well. It'll keep its shape. Okay, now let's do some trimming. Um, on this end of the short side, you've got this half inch section. That's gonna be the section where we put our adhesive. So let's cut off that uh, rectangle on either side. And then cut the corners off of that tab. Okay, now on the short sides, you're gonna do the same thing on both ends. You're gonna trim. And then on one side, it doesn't matter which one, but the, whatever side is gonna be the bottom, just cut those corners off like that. We're gonna keep the other ones square because they're not gonna be uh, glued down, but these, this will just help us kind of reduce any kind of um, extra cardstock. Okay, so this is what your piece looks like. Now before we put it together, let's stamp that cute little pumpkin all over in pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie ink on pumpkin pie cardstock. And I'm just gonna do one side. You could of course do um, all of it if you want, but just for the sake of the video, I think I'll keep it simple and just stamp on this front side. Notice I'm turning my paper. You can also just turn your stamp each time you uh, stamp it. That will kind of give some variation. All right, now I'm gonna use tear and tape is buried under here. I'm gonna put tear and tape along this long side, like that. Let's peel off that adhesive, like that. And then fold this in and this one will go right over it. So the adhesive goes on that short half inch section on the end. Now take your bottom, the part where we cut the corners off, Fold in the sides and then the back, and then we're gonna do the front last. That will give you a rounded edge on all of the sides. A little tear and tape, and make sure it's nice and square. All right, and there is your box. Let's slide in our pumpkin treat. Close that up, sides, back, and front. And I'm not gonna adhere that because I want my recipient to not have to rip it open, right? We just want them to open it nicely. A lot of times when you give a treat box to somebody, they wanna keep the box because it's so cute. So that way you prevent them from tearing it so they can display your artwork. All right, this is my pecan pie middle striped ribbon. I am gonna tie a bow. Actually, we're gonna do the bow over here about let me get that ribbon straight about a third of the way down. Tie a bow like that. 
All right, make sure you cut those ends at an angle like that. All right, now that we've got our box done, let's make our cute little tag. Let's look at it again. I'm gonna stamp that cup and I'm gonna stamp the cinnamon stick. Let me get my piece of white over here. Now again, you guys, this stamp set has so many options. You can stamp the words, you can die cut the words. We're actually gonna use the die cut word pumpkin, but if you don't wanna do that, there's also the stamped pumpkin. Um, I had, I put, you had me at pumpkin spice. You could also do something like, um, grateful it's finally pumpkin spice season. Um, this calls for pumpkin spice. I don't know, whatever you want. There's just lots and lots of options. It's really a cute and creative stamp set. All right, let's stamp the cup in Memento. Stamp that whipped cream in Memento. Stamp the cinnamon stick, you got it, in Memento. And then my um, pumpkin, which I don't have my stamp cleaner here. Let's see if we can get it it's not clean. Oh, look, it did great. Okay. Now I'm going to just color the sleeve of my um, cup and I'm going to use light pumpkin pie first. I'm going to use a bullet tip end because uh, I, I'm pretty messy with that uh, brush tip end. I get out of the lines when I'm coloring. So I just saved that for, well, you'll see in a second, I'm going to kind of blend the ink, but I also save it for really big sections and flicking ink too. So I use my bullet tip when I want to make sure I'm staying in the lines. Now I'm going to take that brush tip and I'm just going to kind of create a shadow line like this. All right, and then let's blend it with the brush tip of the lighter uh, pumpkin pie like that. So now you kind of have a shadow. Um, I'm also going to create a shadow behind the sleeve by just taking my light crumb cake and putting a line underneath right there. All right, you can also put a um, shadow line here if you want, and you could even do one like that. Um, okay, how about copper clay for our cinnamon stick? And then we'll use pumpkin pie for our pumpkin, of course. light pumpkin pie, and then I'm just gonna take my dark pumpkin pie and kind of outline those lines just to give it a little more dimension. Go back with my light and blend that all together. All right, now, lucky for us, Stampin' Up! has created dies for this set. So grab the dies, you're gonna use the cup, the whipped cream, the little pumpkin, and the cinnamon stick. They've got a die for everything. And also cut out the word pumpkin from um, Cajun Craze cardstock. And look, I've already put an adhesive sheet on the back. I did that before I cut the word, so that'll make it a sticker. All right, let's start with the cup. I'm gonna put a dimensional on the back of that, and I'm gonna put it pretty far over to the left. This tag is from the Greetings of the Seasons tag dies, um, cut in crumb cake. I have cut out the word pumpkin from Cajun Craze, peeled off that backing, that adhesive backing, and we'll st stick it just like that um, as a uh, sticker. Now let's stamp our words carefully. You had me at, and then pumpkin is already there for us, so then let's do spice, pumpkin spice. All right, now let's just finish this up with our other pieces. I'm gonna put that dimensional, we'll put it right there. Put our whipped cream and then let's get um, you know what I think I'm going to use a glue dot just because I know these pieces will fall off as I'm trying to tie them onto our box so a glue dot for each the cinnamon stick put that right there and our cute little pumpkin Okay, now these dies actually already have a hole in them because they are designed as tags, which is awesome. I'm gonna take a piece of linen thread, run that through, and tie that to our bow. Okay. 
and snip and snip and there you go all right i will have all of this listed on my blog i'll have a link for the candy as well as those two other more than autumn projects make sure you stop by check them out and i hope you enjoy this fun pumpkin spice season thanks everybody bye bye